Uh, I'm in the ER with Jared and Natalie. What? Yeah, Jared was uh, assaulted. He's okay, but, you know, it happened right in his office, so I've changed security firms. What's happening with you? Uh, well, the, the judge is about to make a ruling on Matthew's case. Oh. Well, look, I'm on my way. Are you at the courthouse? You don't have to come. I'm sure Natalie and Jared need you. I'll be okay. Are you sure? Positive. Well, you let me know when you get some news, okay? I will. I love you. I love you, too. Bye. Did you know about Natalie and Jared? Yeah. Yeah, I got McVeigh on the case, sent some uh, uniforms over to uh, the mm -hmm. office in the land fair. Okay. Okay. So, hmm. this is it? Yeah. Elijah seems to feel good about the outcome. Do you? Um... As much as I hate to say it, you're going down, Dad. Step Nora. Victor, you... Er, you know how that hurts me, Dad. I'm just as much yours as my little brother you Matthew. What are you doing here, David? What are you doing here? I'm here to watch a return on my investment. Took every cent I had to bankroll Matthew's case, but it was worth it. We got Taya Delgado. Lady, don't lose, yeah. So... Elijah, do you have your bags packed? It's about time for you to slink out of town, a loser. Oh, man, I was hoping to get an invitation to the wedding. Taya? You heard. Oh, what, do you think I wouldn't have? So, you and Todd set a date? Friday. Wait, this Friday? <laughs> My divorce to Ross is final. Why would we wait? Oh, well, you know the answer to that. Ease up for my parents, will you? You mean you want total dignified victory? No, I just don't want them to be hurt. Uh... All right, I can do that, as long as we get to gloat in private. Matthew, son, we got interrupted there at the house when we were talking. Yeah, you, you were talking to us when we got called away? It was about the surgery? You know, Matthew, it's not too late to call us all off. All rise. Honorable Judge Henson presiding. Be seated. to render my decision in the matter of Matthew Buchanan versus Bo and Nora Buchanan. Your Honor, if it pleases the court, I'd like to be heard before you make your ruling as some urgent new information has come to light since we've adjourned. Five minutes. Thank you, Your Honor. Gregory Evans, just last week, against all medical and ethical standards, performed surgery on his own brother. It was during the surgery that he committed a grievous error, and his brother Sean is still comatose. This is the same Dr. Evans who assured the court he's never lost a patient and was promising us that he couldn't hurt Matthew if given the chance to perform his surgery as well. Yet as of today, he's virtually killed his own brother. I have cooperation, Your Honor. talk before any slicing. There's no point in where we sunk. Your Honor, there is no parallel between Sean Evans' case and my client's. Sean Evans had suffered from a gunshot wound. He'd already been through one surgery, and he had developed a complication that none of the doctors attending him had fully detected. Furthermore, the only reason Dr. Evans performed surgery upon his brother was that none of the trauma surgeons on site were qualified to do so. He still put his patient at risk and made a grave mistake, Your Honor. This is... The hospital is filing no charges against Dr. Evans. There is not one doctor that will back up what counsel is alleging. In any case, the circumstances are completely different and highly charged. Nothing like the circumstances which surround 
the surgery Matthew requires, which is a simple procedure which Dr. Evans routinely performs with great success. If counsel cannot get around the simple facts of this case, Your Honor, Sean Evans is not likely to recover because Dr. Gregory Evans vastly overestimated his skills as a surgeon, and who's to say he hasn't done the same thing in Matthew's case? Down, both of you. None of this information changes my ruling. I have listened to both Matthew and to his parents. I have weighed the law, the facts, the personalities I was shown here in my courtroom, the judgment, the motives, and the odds. And based on that, the minor Matthew Buchanan shall be granted the right to make his own decision regarding this search. <laughs> Your Honor, I move that you stay this order until a higher court can hear our appeal. That completely defeats the purpose of the ruling, Your Honor. Counsel would like nothing more than to tie this case up in appeals for the next 10 years. But as we have already established, time is of the essence in this case. We're asking for a week at the most. Counsel, I'm not going to overrule myself. The order stands. All rise. Good luck to you, young man. I don't care what she says. I'm going to file an appeal first thing in the morning. We will not stop fighting. Do what you can. You don't have to wait on any appeal, Matthew. You are free to do what you want. Congratulations. Thank you. Bro, you won. How does it feel? It's crazy, Greg. Luck with that appeal. I'll tell your client not to get up and run to the hospital. I'll have that stay by noon tomorrow. But good luck with your wedding. I don't need luck. With Todd Manning? <laughs> <laughs> I will be marrying Todd. Now that you're divorced, Ross is final, huh? Oh, hey, does Todd have that paperwork? Little Buke, you won. You can do anything you want, and whatever that is, I will back it up. So what's it going to be? Are we going to surgery or Disney World? Matthew. You okay? I don't care what the judge said. You know what Greg did to his brother. So please, please let me go back. Please. Please don't let him do that to you. I did get scared when I saw what happened to Sean. But Tay is right. My case is completely different. And I'm sorry that everything got weird and tense with the family. I don't want that. I want all of that to go away. But I want to walk again. More than anything. So just, just hang in there, okay? I'll, I'll have this surgery. It'll all be okay. You'll see. I love you guys. Just, just be brave. <laughs> Nora, it's me. I need to know what's going on with Matthew. Now, if you're still at the courthouse, I can get over there. So... Give me a call, let me know, and I'll get there as soon as I can.